Hey everybody, this is Can't Stop the Unk, and if you're a first time programmer, you come to the right place. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to go to this wiki.eclipse.org website right here, and then I'm going to be using Eclipse 4.6 Neon for all the programming things I'm going to do here. And the reason why you want to do this is because if you're going to be a programmer, you need an environment to program in. And it's a lot more convenient to do it in Eclipse than doing it in on Notepad or something. So the first thing you need to do is download Java 8. So you go to this, uh, go to the Oracle website, and then I'll put all the links in the description below so you'll have everything you need. So the first thing you need to do is accept the user license agreement. And then make sure you select the correct operating system you have and download the correct uh, executable file so you can get Java 8 and just install it. Then the next thing you need to do is to go to this link, eclipse.org, with all the downloads. Go to this site. It'll explain how to download everything. Make sure you select Eclipse IDE for Java de de developers. Forget about the other ones. Just pick Java developers and then install that and then you'll have Eclipse installed and if you just scroll down you can see the download links right here so make sure you click on the make sure you click on this one so when you have everything installed and ready to go you open up Eclipse and then you'll see something like this and then what you're gonna see is this uh, where you can select your workspace to be so this is where if you want all your projects to be in a specific folder this is where you're gonna browse through and select the folder path so I'm just going to click OK. So now Eclipse is open and what you're going to see is this white page and you can just hit exit. And I'm going to switch out my workspace real quick. So don't worry if you have a different background color. This is just how I have my setup because I like the dark background. It's OK if you have a white one, it makes no difference. So what you're going to do next is once you have Eclipse open, you're going to go to github.com slash can't stop the unk and you're going to click click on this link right here and this is where you can find all the code you need that I'm going to show you in the video and the projects you get you can find the projects here that I'm going to give you and then what you're going to do is hit cl uh, clone or download and you're going to download a zip file so once you download the zip folder from github what you can do is open it and then make sure you click into this folder make sure you open the zip file and now we're at the folder where we need to extract it. So right click the folder or hit Alt E and make sure you place it in the correct directory. So wherever your Eclipse workspace is located, that's where you want to put the folder in. So I'm going to do this off camera real quick. So once you have the folder back in the correct directory under your workspace, what you're going to do is go back to Eclipse, then you hit File, New, Java Project, and then you're going to unclick default location and you're just going to browse for it. So when you find your workspace, so my path is under whatever directories, and then what you're going to see is your intro Java that you placed in there. You click on it, hit OK, then hit finish. And then to the left here, you can see that everything's been imported in your Eclipse environment. So now that you have everything you need to start programming, I'm just going to go over a few things about the channel and how it's going to work. So I'm going to make the videos as short as possible because I pretty much believe that the best way to get programming is just by doing it and not watching somebody all the time. I'm going to post projects for you to do and the solutions. And I might even upload the projects in a separate folder and not with the lessons. So that's not as tempting to just look at the solutions. Basically, I can't stress how important it is to not look up the answer and that it's okay to struggle at programming. And it's just, it's always okay to just not know what the solution is and you just got to hammer out the answer because that's pretty much what programming is 50% of it is writing the code and the other half is basically debugging all the errors and, tri and trials and tribulations and that's basically the essence of programming so in summary it's okay to struggle in programming and it's completely normal everybody spends hours debugging for some stupid little bug it happens to all of us and make sure you do everything by yourself don't get help, don't Google the answer, just try things. And then if you get really stuck, then you can comment, ask for help, Google stuff, that's fine. But make sure you give an honest effort first. And then 
you'll probably start to enjoy programming more. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you, you can work everything out, installing clips, uh, importing all the files you need. And in next video, we'll start actually programming and showing you how to declare initialized variables and the very basics of programming. So I'll see you then.